We are here this morning uh, for the matter of uh, uh, COP, Commissioner of Police against Sheyi Awubola. <clears throat> this, this case is about a young man who has been in detention since October 21, 2020. Uh, he was arrested on Wednesday, uh, the, the very next morning after the very horrible incident at Lekki Toll Gate. You understand? And since that, and like so many hundreds of other people were arrested. In fact, by our own records, at the radical gender movement in the NBA, remember, up to about 300 people are still in detention. This particular person, his case is special in the sense that his family has put in extra effort to get him out. We've been to the high court twice for his bail. It was refused. Uh, serious charges, but with no justifiable basis of arson of rioting was preferred against him, including disobedience to uh, lawful order. <coughs> uh, eventually, because of our pressure, we wrote to the Attorney General of Lagos State complaining about the, uh, the uh, merit of the legal advice that was issued based on the facts given. And um, uh, well, positively, the Minister of Justice did a review of this matter since more than a month ago, uh, that really the only sustainable charge in their view now upon our petition is to uh, remove uh, the charges of arson and uh, rioting against him. And so that means this matter that has been pending before this court since December last year, it now can be treated. At the, on October 18, if I'm right, the matter was to come up and we attached uh, to our own uh, application uh, a certified true copy which we obtained from the Ministry of Justice about the new legal advice. But the court was of opinion that the court would want to be safe and to get a copy from the uh, Ministry of Justice itself. And so the matter was a joke. Can you imagine to December 20 uh, this year? We have to bring a new application for abridgment of time. And mercifully for us, it was fixed for today uh, for the hearing of this uh, matter because the court uh, now has a copy of the original from the uh, Minister of Justice removing all those other serious charges that we've mentioned. This morning, the bill was not produced. Why? The prisons said they will not bring him because they have no operational vehicles. <laughs> Can you imagine? Because they have no operational vehicles to bring him to the court. And there's nothing the magistrate could do in that circumstances, you know? So all our efforts to persuade the uh, prison to uh, get a chartered bus, just one person, just a young man, he's not being charged with armed robbery, he's not a murderer, all this kind of a thing, they refused. They said it's only their topmost officer, the officer in charge, I think the uh, Comptroller General, the Assistant Comptroller General, and he was not around. And so, the, so now the information we got from the registry of the court is that the matter is now adjourned till uh, Tuesday next week. Uh, but then hopefully the prison's fans will be working and the gentleman will be, will be brought. We are not happy about this development. These are the family members. Uh, they were badly disappointed the other time, October 18, and today you could imagine the shock and embarrassment again. And that, that shows how the country is uh, malfunctioning, you know, malfunctioning. That's a young man detained on the basis of his furious charge in the first instance, and now that some rectification that we made, you can see system failure again has detained him. We are talking of a human being since October 21. And like I said, October 21, 2020, there are still about 300 other people there, like, like that. And that, this is a reason why we tell our people, don't leave the struggle to make Nigeria a better country for some people who you think they have two heads. Nobody has two heads. Nobody has greater stake in this country than any other person. But because we are, as people, as, a, as, a, as citizens, we are just too soft, too weak, too cowardly, too indifferent. We prefer to live as slaves 
That is why our leaders, so-called leaders, these are not leaders, these are rulers, wicked, oppressive rulers. They can afford to do anyhow with us. So we hope that uh, on Tuesday, uh, the situation will be better, the gentleman will be brought, the court will sit, and we'll get freedom.